me again. Taylor Swift did something and as per the law of cause and effect, I must now do something. She has released a song, or Big Red Machine has released a song on their album that is featuring Taylor Swift that, to my understanding, is um, pretty much just a Taylor Swift song. That's, that's pretty much what I'm seeing all over the place is that it features her, but it's actually just all her. I love that this is something that we get to share together and without further fucking rambling on my part, ee, let's do it. Ooh. Swift music, I don't ever think about what this, this, I don't know how weird this sounds, but I don't think about her experiencing them. I just hear the words and I like apply it to parts of my own fucking life. So whenever people were getting into, oh, this is about this person and that's about that person, I'm like, you're telling me that this song isn't about my experience? <laughs> so already hearing that line of, I tapped on your window on the darkest night and there was nowhere for me to stay, but I stayed anyway. Oh my God, I've had that feeling of fucking bunch in my life. I've regularly felt like I'm like, hey, <laughs> hey, um, and someone's just not ready for it. I don't even know how to say that. That's just such a feeling of being there at a point in someone's life where they're not really ready for you to be there, but you want them. So you're like, oh, it's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna stay right here. Oh, there's no room. <laughs> there's no room for me in that corner. I'll just wait. You'll be ready at some point. And it's fine. I have that horrible thing where I see the potential in someone rather than what they currently are. Um, yeah, what the fuck? I believe in people super hard and it's not that's also probably a toxic trait of mine, but we're gonna we're gonna keep listening. What the fuck? Are you really gonna talk about time? She's so clever. It's it's <laughs> she's so smart. I love her. <laughs> if I would have known how many pieces you had crumbled into, I might have let them day. Are you really gonna talk about time? If I might have known how many pieces you had crumbled into, I might have let them lay. I kind of don't relate to that. <laughs> I feel like I've been there before where I've been in deep in a situation, but like I've been in so deep, like for me, where I'm in it and I'm attached and I do have thoughts like that. I'm like, oh, if only I'd have been a fucking psychic and known how tough this was gonna get, maybe I would have not gotten into it. But I do think that there's a part of that where I'm just like, I, I, there, I think I see it. And I'm just like, nope, love you anyway. And that's like not gonna be a problem down the line because like I'm gonna, Help. Also, when I'm doing this, I have no idea if I'm making any fucking sense. This is very stream of consciousness. I'm not sorry. We love a sad bop. <laughs> Let all your baggage carry. I don't know what she said. Let all your damage damage me. <laughs> I like that the best way I can explain this, this feeling I'm having of like, I just had this feeling where I'm like, oh wait, I've been on both sides of this. Um, I've been the archer <laughs> and I've been the prey. That part especially, I was just like, whoa, I've been on both sides of that, that um, and make me your future history. Because I do have this like endless ability to just like ruminate and also turn that into like a future projection of what I think might happen one day, and if that involves another party, um, I, I do sometimes, I'm like, what if you're just not here anymore? What if, like, well, I, I do math a lot on, not with numbers, I fucking suck at those, but I do like people math, and um, once I have enough to work with, my brain kind of does this thing where I'm like, predicting like patterns of stuff, and it's hard to not let that feeling be sort of like all encompassing, and to let that just, what is, sincerely and only a projection of your own like mind's work and to put that out into somebody else's reality. Was that sensical? 
If you've been there, done that, then it might be. <laughs> and I've been on the other side of it where I can feel someone doing that to me. Like I can feel someone doing their own math on the situation where I know that I'm gonna be history at some point in the future because of all the things going on in their head at that time that I can just like do nothing about. Okay, enough of me oversharing. <laughs> That's exactly the mindset that's kept me in too many things where I know that like I'm not It's not gonna it's not gonna go well, and I'm like well you wouldn't be the first person to um, Have something Work out for you Be with me kind of shit. I don't really do that anymore though. That was definitely like a thing I went through at some point in my, for many years in my life <laughs> that line of you wouldn't be the first renegade to meet somebody is so classic Taylor to be um so hopeful about someone who doesn't give them very much. Maybe that's why I relate to her so much. That's why I like her music. I'm like, it's okay, I do that too. I am a believer and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> one more time. Stay tuned. Definitely been there, done that. It's hard. Um, it's really hard to love someone who can't give you everything because of things that they have going on. And like I've said about being on both sides of that, I, I spend a lot of time working on, um, and even, even what she said about, is it really your anxiety that stops you from giving me everything or do you just not want to? When, especially now that I'm like so fortunate to be with someone who I love so much. Um, there is a big part of that that inspires you to be better with things that you might not be so good with and to like work through shit that you might not have otherwise felt, you know, super motivated to. But when you're with someone, especially someone who, like in my case, I'm really lucky, is also kind of good at that self-reflection and introspection and like figuring out that they have like knots inside them that they would like to untie so that they can you know be with you better or be with anyone better because you get to a certain point where you're like wait these knots inside me would not be good for anybody they're not good for me and um i don't think you need to love someone external to want to do that and to be inspired to do that but sometimes it helps um it definitely helped me to go um to have a mirror that i trusted put up to me because it's not like i've never had mirrors put up to me and been like hey you kind of do this and you kind of like worry about that and you have this like you know and when it comes from a good place um that mirror is a little bit easier to look at and so i've been looking at a lot of like gentle supportive mirrors over the last, I would say, year or two, and just been kind of, been trying to be more aware of my own headspace so that I can not only like enjoy my own life more, but enjoy the company that I get to have more. Yeah, so I don't think that's insensitive to say, Taylor. People should get their shit together so you can love them. They just can't always. <laughs> and that's sad, wow, that's a sad thing all in itself. I tapped on your window on your darkest night The shape of you was dragging me There was nowhere for me to stay But I stayed anyway You fire off Taylor's just one of those people that's gonna be and, and it's so sad, and I, and, I, and I spend a lot of time thinking about this too, that like, is never gonna be as appreciated as she should be like during her time here on Earth giving us this stuff because of just weird um, herd mentality and of people like being like too cool to like enjoy things that other people enjoy. Like it, it's, it fucks me off because she really does capture the most relatable things in a way that like that, that's her fucking superpower is taking a feeling that, I mean, I think most everybody has probably have and putting it into like 10 words or less. How the fuck do you do that? And making it sound beautiful. Mm. Oh, you really gotta talk about 
<laughs> I love a sad bob. And that's another thing, is that you can tell when someone wants to. You can tell when someone wants to try. I understand from going through it that it's not easy, but that trying is, um, I mean, in my books at least, trying does count for something. But then you get to that tricky place where you're like, someone's trying, and that means something, but it also, sometimes trying doesn't change enough. Wow. Queen of writing about shit that everybody has been through. What the fuck? <laughs> How is there a full m minute and a half left of this? And if I would have known how sharp the pieces were you crumbled into, I might have let them lay. Are you really gonna talk about time and time and time? Ugh. You're gonna show my savior complex again. I'm working on it. For me, I feel like I can always, there is a part of me that knows when someone's in metaphorical pieces, um, but you kind of don't know how fucking sharp they are until you go to like try to help to, you know, restore someone's faith in something or like help someone work through something and then they don't like that and you're like, fucking ouch, <laughs> the fuck? But um, yeah, wow. <laughs> Justin Vernon. <laughs> Dude, no matter how many times I'm alerted of the fact that someone else is singing on whatever Taylor Swift song I'm listening to, it scares the shit out of me every single time. This like dude voice comes in like, uh, and I'm. This is also just such a good extra reminder that I do need to start, and I always fucking promise it, I always say that I'm gonna do like a after I've listened to them endlessly, like second reaction, even though it's not a reaction, it's more of a like looking back at what I actually think about the songs. This is one that I'm sure after I listen to it, a fucking bajillion times that I'm gonna have like extra shit to say, but there it is. There is my stream of consciousness, probably um, overshared too much about myself, reaction to Renegade. Let me know if this is absolutely completely obvious about me, but um, I don't think that there's any better feeling for me in the world than relating to people, and uh, I get that from doing this with you. And if you get that from watching me do this, um, I, I just fucking love that. That's like my favorite thing in the world. For me, relating to people has always made me feel way less weird and alone and like alien from other people. So thank you for spending the time listening to Renegade with me. <laughs> like this video if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see me do more. Yeah, I will see you next time. Follow me on Instagram and on TikTok for way too much Taylor Swift content. What am I saying? There can never be enough. <laughs> Shut up,